To benchmark consumer satisfaction with retail beef in Canada, four types of steaks from 75 stores were provided to 1,200 customers for preparation at home. An additional 680 steaks from the same 75 stores were assessed for tenderness at the AAFC Lacombe Research and Development Center. The percentage of consumers that gave a 7 out of 10 or higher for overall satisfaction was 79%. Laboratory results showed a slight improvement for the average tenderness of all four steaks combined compared to the results found in previous National Beef Quality Audit studies. For an industry perspective on Canadian beef quality, we talked with Greg Keller, General Manager of Bonton Meat Market in Calgary, Alberta. With beef prices in Canada at historic highs over the last several years, what has this meant for the importance of meat quality at retail? It's huge. Um, what people are looking for right now is they know it's expensive, but they want value. So therefore, if they're going to put the money out for beef, what we're finding is people are buying smaller amounts, but it's very, very important that they have the quality. Carcass weights have been steadily increasing over the last four decades. How has this influenced the way you market beef products? Large cuts generally, we have, to, we have to be smarter with the way that we're processing and cutting because people are eating smaller amounts. And so what we, want, what we find is that people don't want the great big huge mass of carcasses where you've got a pound and a quarter T-bone steak type thing. So we have to be very, very careful as to how we merchandise and how we are processing the product. Thickness of product, of course, it all ties in. Where do you think quality ranks versus other attributes in the minds of Canadian consumers purchasing beef products? But the number one thing for people is still the quality of the product and price. What can cattle producers do in the future to help enhance consumer satisfaction with Canadian beef? I think they're on the right path. I think what they have to do is continue to hammer home the point of how natural our product actually is. And I think we have to just keep hammering home the, the fact that we do have the safest and the best standards in the world.